What up? This big eye coming at you once again. I ain't made no video in a minute because I've been busy painting and trying to get my house back in order. But uh, now that I'm done with that, I thought I'd make a video today just for everybody. I just want to talk about fucking with these broke bitches. Broke bitches that talk all a lot of shit, but in reality ain't got shit. You know what I'm saying? I tell men all the time, man, don't fall for these pretty women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they might dress the part, look the part, act the part, and all of that. But in reality, though, you know, they ain't even got shit. So, you know, me personally, man, if I'm dealing with a woman and she ain't on my level, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, she might even call me an asshole or say I'm mean or whatever. No, nah, it's not even that. It's just I know better. I got common sense. I see you ain't going nowhere with your life. You know what I'm saying? If you in your late 20s and going on 30 and you still living at home with your mama and you ain't got to pay no bills and you ain't got no responsibility and you ain't got no kids but you ain't got no money in your pocket but you look the part and dress the part and act the part nah man that's the type of woman that I would never deal with you know what I'm saying let alone be in a relationship with you know what I'm saying Shit, the only thing she'd be good to a nigga like me is some pussy. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm just keeping it real with you. You know? You can't trust them, them broke bitches, man. Broke bitches that get you fucking caught up. They get you set up. You know what I'm saying? They, they get you put in so much bullshit, you don't even know where it's all coming from. You know what I'm saying? I tell men all the time, get you a woman that's about something, you know? It don't matter what her nine to five job is, as long as she, she doing something with her life. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? These, these no good for nothing ass janky bitches, them is the type of bitches all they looking for is an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? These is opportunist hoes all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? They be out here fucking the highest bidder or the highest motherfucking nigga with the highest dope sack. <laughs> That's what these old skanky ass bitches be doing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I like I like women that get up and go to work in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Still able to have enough energy to take care of kids and shit and, you know, provide for her family. You know what I'm saying? Even if she got a dude or a husband or something, they living together as a family. You know what I'm saying? Those are the type of black women that I respect. You know? I don't respect women that sell dope. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, in reality, if you have to do what you got to do to survive, then so be it, though. But, you know, you got these women out here that's out here thinking that shit is the business. And they think that shit's the future. But you sitting up here wasting all your precious years of your life standing on a block seven days a week and not accomplishing nothing in life. Don't go want to go to school. Don't want to learn to go get a trade. Don't want to do nothing but just hang out about around a bunch of niggas and smoke weed all day and get fucked. You know what I'm saying? Who, who wants to be around a woman like that? You know, who wants a, who wants a woman that everybody get fucked on? Not me. You know what I'm saying? I can never be loyal to a drug dealing bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because, man, I, I, I dated bitches that so dope. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, and then you find out all kind of shit. Sometimes shit, man, them bitches was like fucking the dope man and shit. <laughs> Work discounts. <laughs> you know, it was all good, but you know, the game is the game, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But uh me personally now, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? I I dated females like that, but in reality and shit, you know what I'm saying? For me it was just like a, a money thing. I, I personally knew hell shit. I know if I have a future with a person or not, and I know I don't. You know what I'm saying? Once your purpose is complete, goodbye. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to be mean. That's just to be like realistic. You know? It's, there's no filter or no fakeness in me to want to make bad decisions when it comes to women. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, what I, what I, what I hate not to get off the subject is like when you, you got a Facebook page and you know you got all your female friends on that shit. You know what I'm saying? They gonna say shit. You know, give you compliments and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, you got your girl, she talking shit and getting mad and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like for me, man, I'm not finna, if I'm in a relationship, man, I'm not finna check every motherfucking female that say something or give me a compliment. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 I mean, that goes like for, like the same thing on the female page. You know what I'm saying? You know niggas gonna say shit. Niggas gonna sexy this, sexy that, and be all up in the bitch inbox, you know what I'm saying, hollering at her and shit, trying to get at her and shit, you know what I'm saying, you don't know if these bitches gonna bite, you know what I'm saying, but they all up in your shit though, then they get an attitude if you gotta say something about a nigga saying something on you, on, on, on her page, you know what I'm saying, now you wanna get an attitude, now you wanna get mad, and you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's a, it's a double standard, you know what I'm saying, I look at it like this. If the female ain't checking the niggas, the nigga don't have to check the bitches. Period. You know what I'm saying? That's real talk. But, uh, <clears throat> back to what I was saying about these old ghetto ass, skanky ass, hood rat, dirty ass, nasty ass, no good for nothing ass, worthless ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? That ain't about shit. That played the part, act so motherfucking good, like they can get up on the stage like Halle Berry and shit, and cry a river, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, the worst thing that a motherfucker can do, man, is is, is, is get in a relationship with one of these ratchet bitches and then getting into it with niggas over these bitches, man, it, it ain't even worth it, homie. Uh, let me tell you a story. I learned a valuable lesson from this shit. I was dating this girl for four motherfucking years. You know what I'm saying? Everything was cool here and there, off and on, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I was doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I was doing my dirt. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with other bitches and all kinds of shit, you know? And um, one day she had got into it with a new... Well, well, before that, she had got into it with a shitload of niggas. So I was always, you know what I'm saying... Going to her rescue, getting at these niggas and all this shit, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, 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 ooh. You know, and then it got to the point where niggas that I was cool with, man, was like, you know what I'm saying, trying to like start being my enemy and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm losing friends and shit behind this bitch. I'm using, you know, associates and, you know, cool potential business partners behind this bitch. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? So later on down the line, yeah, I think I yeah. Um, she had got into it with another dude. So, I was like, man, damn, you know, here we go again with this shit. So, I remember getting out of my truck, and then me and the dude got into a fist fight. And I'm putting hands on this dude easy. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? So, we fall to the ground. So, right when I'm getting ready to get this nigga to death blow, <clears throat> his fat-ass sister jumped on my back, nigga. And I fell on the ground and shit, my fucking knee popped out of place. I was fucked up. I couldn't even move. My whole body fucking shut down. And they got behind me and choked the shit out of me, too. You know what I'm saying? I was pulling to sleep. 
You know what I'm saying? That shit was some fucked up shit. Then I go to the motherfucking hospital. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, and, and she there, but she acting like she impatient and shit, and she got somewhere to go. But she ain't even concerned about my motherfucking leg. Then, my little cousins and shit, they was there. They helped me out and shit. They helped me get in the car. And they ended up bringing me home, helping me get, you know what I'm saying, in my house and shit. All of that. Where was this bitch at? You know what I'm saying? This bitch was nowhere to be found. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm, 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 I'm putting my life on the line for you. I'm sticking my neck out for you. And you just motherfucking left me hanging and shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like two months later, shit. The bitch was fucking around with the next nigga anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, when you you know these these dope dealing bitches, you know what I'm saying? They they they, they chase these niggas with the biggest set. You know what I'm saying? So you know it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So uh, from that time on, man, I said to myself, man, shit, I'll never fight no nigga again over a motherfucking bitch. You know what I'm saying? Unless she my motherfucking wife. If she ain't my motherfucking wife, nigga, I will never stick my line out for another bitch again. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, oh, that nigga disrespecting you? Bitch, you better go tell your brother. You better go tell your daddy. You better go tell your motherfucking uncle. But my friend get out there and dance. You know what I'm saying? Just like I had a recent situation and shit with, with, with a bitch that owed me money and shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to fuck with the bitch back in the day and shit. But it wasn't no no love. I wasn't in love with this bitch, and this bitch knew I wasn't in love with her. You know what I'm saying? So when I confront the bitch about my money, the bitch want to get loud about my money. You know what I'm saying? First of all, we cool, and and, and we homies, but we ain't together, and we ain't, we ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck every now and then, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and you 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 need you need my help. And I give you a loan, and you promise me you gonna pay me that money back. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trusting you that your word is your word. See, because I'm from the old school, man. And your word was always your bond, and you never broke that shit. You stayed with your bond. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that, and that, and that, and that, that got you respect in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Because they always say, okay, yeah, so-and-so, he or she is a man of their word. And that's the code that I go by. So anyway, this motherfucking female want to get loud and talking all crazy and all on this ghetto shit. Ooh, I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not, like I said, I said what I said, I'm not going to put my hands on a female and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm my in my younger days and shit, I made that mistake and shit, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad and shit and hitting a woman and going to jail for that shit, man. That shit wasn't cool at all, you know what I'm saying? And then shit ended up getting back with her any motherfucking way. So it was all fucking waste. But shit, anger management classes and shit, nigga, 52 weeks and shit, $1,020 out your pocket, plus gas and your time wasted, shit. Hell no, nah, nigga, I ain't finna... Think about putting my hands on a motherfucking woman. Fuck that. I walk away. Call me all the motherfucking names you want. That shit ain't gonna bother me at all. Because I know who I am as a man. That stands alone and does his own shit. My own responsibilities. Take care of my own motherfucking self. Don't ask nobody for shit. My kids don't want for shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Since I ain't gonna put my hands on her... I'm like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? I got to do $300 worth of damage or something because I'm pissed. You know what I'm saying? If I trust you, man, you know, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So then, like, she got this little, little young nigga and shit. He wanted to try to get bad with a nigga and all that shit. And I'm like, dude, I don't even want to fight with you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because then the females try to make it seem like you want to. It's because she with another nigga that you want to fight her. Nah, bitch, we had a deal. And you didn't own up to your deal. I don't give a fuck who you with. You're not my bitch. You're not in a relationship with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen you in a minute. So I don't know who you fucking with. Because if I'm, if it's obvious and shit, I'm not giving a fuck if I ain't call you. I ain't text your phone. I ain't hit you up or nothing. 
So then now all of a sudden you want to make a scene and make it seem like I'm tripping over you? Nah, young buck. I'm not finna fight you, my nigga. Because y'all motherfuckers making it seem like I'm trying to fight you behind this raggedy ass bitch that's broke and ain't got nothing. I'm not finna put myself in that motherfucking situation, nigga. So I, I shook the spot. I took the high road as a mature man. You know what I'm saying? Why would I want to fuck up my career and put myself in jeopardy for going to jail for a nothing ass bitch? You know what I'm saying? See, I learned my lesson. You know what I'm saying? Fool me once, but nah, you sure ain't finna fool me twice. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I got the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Took my ass home and shit. Took my ass to bed and got up in the morning and went to work. J-O motherfucking B. Nigga, 9 to 5. Well, I worked 12 hours, but... <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's crazy, though, man, because, you know what I'm saying, at one point in the time, man, this person was cool, man. We was cool people. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, we, we had to fall, you know, it's like on my previous videos, man, we had to fall out behind money. Money, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, I'm like, I would tell my father, like, okay, look, my father, you can go buy $10 a weed every day. If you're making money every day, you can put $20 aside. You can go to the motherfucking dispensary and get him $10 a day. You can give me $10 a day. You know what I'm saying? Before you know it, your debt is paid. But you know when a motherfucker want to be disrespectful, and they don't, they 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 feel like you know what I'm saying they don't owe you shit, and then they try to get another motherfucker involved in your shit that they don't even know about nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm tripping off this because I'm like man this is how people get killed behind fucking with these raggedy ass ratchet bitches man, you know what I'm saying? Somebody could have easily lost their life that night for nothing. All because she want to bring other people in something that she promised to pay back. And something that she reneged on. Something that she fucked up on. But you're going to bring a stranger into your situation to where you don't know what a, another person is capable of doing. But see me, I know what I'm capable of doing. That's why I didn't want to fight the dude. Because I knew. I'm, I'm never afraid of no man. At all. But I'm not finna get out there and be scuffling and fighting with nobody over no motherfucking female that I'm not fucking with. And I don't give two fucks about. You know what I'm saying? It's, and, and, and for me, a motherfucker already know it ain't about the motherfucking money. The money is like $3 to me. The, it's the principle. It's just the principle, my nigga. It's just the respect. But if you if you out there and you and you and you grinding and working and getting your money and then you can't pay nobody back their money, you know what I'm saying? What did that tell me? You know what I'm saying? You 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 didn't give a fuck, or you just you just ain't got it like that. And it's obvious a motherfucker ain't got it like that. So, no, it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? I give it up to God. I chalk that shit up as a loss and I keep it pushing. Why? Because I'm I'm alive and I'm here to breathe another day to to, to see my my future in a good ass motherfucking positive way. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not I'm not with that negative bullshit no more, man, but I, I will protect myself. I will defend my life if I feel that my life is threatened. I, if I have no choice, then I have no choice. But in order to not put myself in those situations, I just, shit, walk away. Go on about my business and live life. Keep making money like I've been doing. And I'm cool.